Hello and welcome everyone to the Sopercast episode uh, 242, the Transform and Action Figure Podcast Show. My name is Hex and uh, got almost a full cast for you. I don't know if D- Dakota's going to show up a little bit later on, but uh, we've got about Rushmore. We're going to go over our figure of the week and then we've got uh, some pretty cool news to uh, take a look at as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and start off with introductions. Dalton, kick us off, man. I'm Dalton. You can find me everywhere at Daltonians TFs. Mike, you can find me everywhere as just another G.I. Joe show. Oh, no, it's that right. No. Henry Mike. <laughs> My bad. Good. I'm Rick. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram as Shattered Glass Jazz. And I'm Andrew, also known as Sportivist here on YouTube and Sportivist Prime on Twitter and hiding underneath Dalton's couch. Mm. And you can find me, uh, G1Xtron, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page, the G1Xtron. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our figure of the week. I know we said we all had like multiple stuff, but uh, you know, just kind of sticking with that one figure for now. Uh, what'd you get? What What do you recommend? I'm starting off with me, I guess. Yeah, that's the same way. Well, yeah. uh, okay. <laughs> well, I was figuring, you know, alphabetical order would be Mike. So, uh, anyways, mine is the Siege Jetfire. I absolutely love this thing. Uh, wasn't sure how much I was going to like it until I got it in hand. It's It's got some weight to it, and he definitely fits perfectly with your chug line. So, I mean, he looks like he came out of the cartoon. So, you, you love that figure? Yeah, I do. All right. You getting a G1 tattoo? No. <laughs> Confirm. Dalton is a huge G1 fan now. I, I'm a fan of the whole thing, so. All right. What you got, Mike? Um. I might have gone with the same thing Dalton did, but I didn't want to be a copycat. But I got a do it Red Wing from uh, Target.com. Thank you to their screw up this week. Um, you lucky, yeah. Uh, so I got the, I ordered this on Monday morning. I picked it up on I believe it was a uh, Wednesday or Thursday. I got it Thursday. Thursday I got it in. Um, and it's better than its predecessor, Starscream, because everything on it is extremely, extremely tight. Um, the uh, chest pieces on there are really good versus the Starscream one. Um, to my understanding, uh, Hasbro Pulse will not have it up for order till August 1st. And oh. Target made a boo-boo and put it up by mistake, and then they didn't go by the red car rule, and so they sold out instantly almost. That's so, funny. So when you people can get a hold of it, I recommend it. But till then, I got it. You don't. Uh, uh, are are people scalping that. those things on eBay for stupid money? Or uh, yeah, there was actually uh, I think they're going like eighty or ninety dollars. And there's a guy I didn't even realize this. I actually came across his eBay page last night, and he has it for sale on eBay right now. And it was bidded up like fifty dollars already. Jeez. See, I, I'm always willing to wait for stuff like. Now you get the people who are like, they're not going to wait, and they'll pay crazy or amounts of money for it. Get, uh, or, the way I look at it buddies. is like, I, like I, I've got, I've got at least sixty things, mm-hmm. probably more than that, just wow. sitting in boxes back here that I haven't even opened yet. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like that. my room. <laughs> or get like always get like always have like some backup buddy to let that got like two or three of them figure out how to get one usually it works but all right my figure of the week um you know i agree with dalton i think jet was the figure of the week but we all got a bunch of stuff we all got a bunch of stuff so i'm gonna go vintage here and um i've been picking up gi joe since the joe fest convention and i got a 1988 toys r us exclusive night force falcon and I'm trying to, I'm trying to finish uh, 82 to 89, and I think I've got uh, I've got seven figures left, so I'm almost there. Of the Night Force, or just all? Just from 82 to 89, I've got seven more figures to get, and it's all it's all the rare ones. Like I saved Night Force for last because most of them are like 120 to 280, depending on which it is. Yeah, they're man, expensive. Those are, those are hot toys prices you're getting up there. Yeah, it is. They're hot toys prices. All right, what, nice. what you got, Sport? Oh, gosh. Well, I got – if I can get a handle of it. Come on. Springer. Nice. 
Good figure. I haven't had a chance to open them yet, but I already like them. I've seen reviews of him, and there's some little nitpicks here and there that people have, but overall, I think he's pretty awesome. Yeah. So, thinking... no Jeff Fire yet, but uh, hopefully BBTS will have him soon. Yeah, I was thinking about him, and I, but I figured I'd go with this, or I'll, since I'll just name the one, I'll just say Magneto. Uh, just because I wanted this proper cartoon accurate Magneto. Uh, I know you can't see it very well in the picture, but mm -hmm. that Scarlet Witch, a, a character that I really never cared that much about, this mm -hmm. face sculpt and that face on that Scarlet Witch is amazing. Yeah, so, yeah that, that pack uh, is pretty, you, pretty good. Have you seen it, Rick? The No, I'll, I'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to cherry, like try to just get the Magneto or, try, or buy the whole set. I haven't decided on that one. I'm still backtracking getting some Legends, but I will say, isn't it weird? Like the female faces seem to get really good around the time they did that Toys R Us, Mary Jane, Spider-Man pack. And then yeah. since then, like all the female faces have been extremely nice. Like all of them. No I mean, I, I was looking at it and I'm like, the lips, like the nose, the eyebrows, the even the eyes, uh, yeah. like they're they're centered properly, and you can see yeah. blue going around her pupil. Like mm -hmm. it's it looks perfect. Yeah, so, the legends are. I love the legends. Yeah, they stepped up good. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our Mount Rushmore. So basically what we're going to do for this one is it's going to be movie and TV uh, vehicles uh, and ones that you could, uh, like real vehicles, so like uh, car cartoons, you know, they were out. We'll do that another time. Uh, but, you know, stuff that was in TV or movies, uh, that you could actually get in and drive, and we left out Transformers as well, just because at that point, then we're just doing like what's your top four Transformers, and we've done that so many times. So, uh, kick it off, Dalton. What you got, man? Uh, so first one I've got was from when I was growing up. I watched the the classic movies from the '60s, and that would be Herbie, uh, just an adorable little beetle. Okay. I can see you in so. Herbie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, drive one. I, I, I grew up watching the movies I still love them so uh, then I'd say it's it's gonna sound stupid but I, I still love this movie uh, the red dodge with the Dorothy unit in the back from Twister oh okay yeah, the ram okay. from yeah, yeah. yeah. look at Dalton coming out of left field and stuff I, I, yeah. I know I'm like man well, you got like not the same stuff that I would put in my garage, even though like some of this stuff is cool. But I'm like, like whenever you go into your garage so far, I'm like, man, this is some unique stuff. Like this is kind of, a little bit of it's from left field. That twister one definitely. Well, then kind of more the expected route. I'm gonna go with the Back to the Future Two DeLorean with why the Mister Fusion. Why are you stealing my stuff, man? I know I told you and my it's, list. It's I had this before your list came out. So all right, all right. so you got the you got the hover conversion. Yeah. yeah. And third one, I would say Kit from Knight Rider. Okay. Or fourth one, yeah. So. Uh, All right. What, what, what you got, Mike? Uh, mine would be the uh, movie Ghostbusters Ecto-1. Oh, nice one. Right, that's a good pick. Um, that that would have been an honorable mention. Uh, I... Uh, I went with DeLorean, but he actually went with Del the second DeLorean, which I I wasn't even thinking about going with different versions. But I would pick the third movie's DeLorean. You want those white walls? White walls, the white wall oh, tires. And then the uh, white time the circuits. Where he can only ride on the railroad. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. Better. Yeah. You don't know which one they're going to go with because those are both cool. So you can yeah. go the time train. Of those. Yeah. Um, also, uh, the A Team van. That's nice. Yeah. Dun, 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 and this dun, dun, one here, I bet you none of them would really remember this, would be uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse Bicycle. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> really, that's, that's your fourth vehicle. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I would pick the, is... the, the, the bicycle. Remember in the movie where he rode the... Uh, yeah. Pee Wee's big, the, big Adventure. The big yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness! Uh, See, Mike trekking through Arkansas on that. <laughs> the, the fun, part, the fun <laughs> part is I had some. Him and Marge Marge. 
You see it parked in the, the handicap section at the Golden Corral. <laughs> All changed up. Yeah. It's got a little basket on the back of it for yeah. us to go food. Exactly. Yep. Guilty. All right. Well, what you, what you got, Rick? All right. I'm um, going to go uh, Ecto-1 for sure. Um, the one I've got that's kind of left field, have you guys ever seen Phantasm? It's, I think there's like five or six of them. Horror I don't movie. think so. Well, the the car of choice in that movie, in all the movies, they use uh, Plymouth Cuda. And hmm. I, I grew up not really caring about muscle cars, and it wasn't until I was in college and I watched the first Phantasm movie. Um, even though the first one, it's got a 71 Cuda that they put, a, they did a lot of customizations to try to, they bought a cheap one and they only had one of them. Unlike like Supernatural where they have like an Impala and they have a bunch of them. They had one car to film the movie with. Um, and by the time the movie was over, they said it was just shot. They paid like maybe $2,000 for this car. But um, the way they customized it, they made it look like a Hemi Cuda. Uh, and then in the rest of the movies, it's all, it's Hemi Cuda. So, so it, it made, I fell in love with the 71 Cuda and all the different versions that are in this Phantasm series. So if you haven't seen the car, look it up. It's a sexy car, man. Um, the, uh, the Hemi Cuda never came with the double scoop, but in the first movie, they had a double scoop, but it really wasn't a Hemi Cuda. They were trying to soup it up to look like one. But yeah, the Cuda. Um, and I've only ever seen one in, 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 uh, in person in my whole life. I've seen one Cuda and one, one Hemi Cuda in person. Uh, so I don't know if it's just they're not in Virginia or they're, I know they're super rare now, but um, that made my list. Dream if I could, rare. yeah, it's, it's, it's a really nice looking car. Um, and then I've got the ad at Walker. I mean, I fell in love with that uh, when I was 10 and I still, <laughs> I still think it's, I still think it's like the, the sexiest Star Wars yeah, it's vehicle. Cool. It's powerful, but it's, you know, it's a good looking vehicle. Number one, 1989 Batmobile every single time. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it sitting like right next to me. Uh, it, <laughs> you know, it's yeah, it's that's got the best lines, the best design. It's got and, the best you know, curves. There, there I said the eighty nine. Yeah, eighty nine Batmobile. It's my favorite vehicle of all time. It, I don't think anything will ever take its place as the best yeah. for me. Was that four? Yep. Yep. Okay. Four? Wow. Cool. All right. What, what you got, Stuart? Nice choices, guys. I am going to have to go with Knight Rider kit. I mean, that that's – I fell in love with the Trans Am with that car. Mm -hmm. so that, that's my, my boy, especially the third season version. Um, I'm also going to go with the Starsky and Hutch Red Torino. <laughs> I love that car. I mean, it's, There's it's, a guy that has one here. I see it on the road, like, mm -hmm. in the morning sometimes. It's a nice car. This is it's a cool, pretty yeah. cool car. I mean, it handles like a pig, but it's a great-looking car. <laughs> Um, I'm also going to go with the Nash Bridges yellow 71 Cuda convertible. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Rick. The 71 Cuda is like my favorite uh, version of the Cuda ever. That, that convertible, know? isn't that the one that there's only like, is there only 11 in existence and they're all accounted for? I thought I read something about the, yeah, the convertible like Cuda. 12 of them made and, or known to exist, something like that. And, it's worth over a million dollars if you can find one that's yeah. in pristine condition. Well, there but you the go. You're, you're trying hours. to place like million dollar cars in your garage, well, and then Mike's putting like bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one in Nash Bridges is not a true uh, 71 Cuda. They modified it to make it look like it, but mm -hmm. I don't care. I just love the way it looks. And yeah. the fourth one uh, would have to, I'm just going to go with the. Uh, I'm gonna go rogue here and go with the uh, Batman Forever Batmobile. Whoa! Okay. It's just so weird and out there that is it the, it's out the one with the fin on the back, like the big fin. Yeah, one the, fin, fin, the, one the, the weird, single yeah. fin. Disco the ball. Batman yeah. and Robin has the double fins, and it just looks okay. so yeah. stupid. And it's I, got that I, weird I, disco the, ball on the front. Not the Arnold one, but the. the oh yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, the one looks like it could have been made by H.R. Gregor. Exactly. Uh, was was that four? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go, like, my number one, like, hands down was the 1989 Batmobile. I mean, that thing is just beautiful. Super, super it's, it's so awesome. It's yeah. perfect. It is. <laughs> uh, 
my my second uh was just gonna be the delorean from back to the future i would say too that way i get both modes uh to where i can use garbage as fuel that seems <laughs> like that would help out quite a bit also it flies yeah uh, so to have something to go back and forth in time i think would be cool um as far as my uh flying around my daily would be the batwing uh from 1989 movie as well Every night I would probably pull up to a full moon any time. <laughs> like that, that's all I'm doing. I'm just burning fuel, like pulling up to it and then dropping. I'm just, just stalling. To, yeah, just to show the story. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to make a change on uh, my fourth one. Uh, that way, like, I can actually live in this thing. I'm going to say the Super Star Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that's because you're the boss he's, from Pee Wee's too. He's thinking big here. Yeah. yeah so that that, that, yeah. that big long Huge. black one that made the the other Star Destroyers like look like puny, like little yeah. micro machines little uh, flying around. Yeah, yeah it, I mean it was wow. only in the movie for I don't know what did what did get like twenty seconds of screen time and then yeah maybe <laughs> and then it crashed into something and boom. What about I don't know. Like, 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 like our, our honorable mentions, like if I didn't go <laughs> way out there with like Super Star Destroyer and stuff like that, you know, Millennium Falcon was probably be in there. <clears throat> I like the Kylo Ren, uh, like his Sith uh, flying vehicle. Oh, his uh, shuttle? Yeah. Uh, but one that oh, like I've liked for decades is the helicopter from Airwolf, man. Oh, oh, yeah. oh I that thing looks looking, awesome. I look yeah. at that thing and I'm like, that thing looks like it was made this year. Like it looks so awesome and sleek. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude. That, that was that's an awesome time. helicopter. Yeah. Um, I would, you know, I would say that the, the vehicle that I played the most with as a kid though, and I grew up in the country, gotta say it, General Lee. Yeah. Just a good old boy. I, I grew up in the country and we used to at that age, being a guy down the street, we would buy there was a plastic version of that car and it was like maybe five bucks at the time. And we bought like every week we'd blow one up like to get we would just like <laughs> we built ramps for it and all and we would tear it up and then we would go get another one until they were just finally, like the show. They, <laughs> still they, they eventually they stopped making it, but for like one summer, I bet we went through six of them easily. Uh, oh, I uh, uh, forgot to give uh, Dakotas uh, because he had General Lee, uh, the Swamp Boat, and the Lawnmower, Rodden Lawnmower from Waterboy. <laughs> and then he also had uh, the Hairy Dog Van from Dumb and Dumber. So. <laughs> good, good picture. <laughs> of course, he's going to have the Swamp Boat. I, I, I think. Like I think a funny honorable mention of mine would be the uh, truck from Maximum Overdrive with the green goblin face on it. Yeah, that's a cool, that's a cool truck. Yeah. My honorable oh. mention would be the Enterprise E and Smoking a Bennett Firebird. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that bandit car. Yeah. Hey, what, yeah. what year was that Trans Am? Was it, Pon it was a Trent Firebird Trans Am? Yeah, was it? 77? Good question. It's black it the black T top, right? T tops, yeah. Yeah. Where's, what where's, I did, I love that car. What about uh, Green Hornet? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah okay. never rated, never rated for me. Yeah, no. Okay. The Grand Torino from Grand Torino. With yeah, yeah. That big car. That's a nice car. Yeah. All right, Mike. You have any honorables before we move on? No, I'm good. All no right. more boss signals to pick from. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see, what, uh, what about what about Bill's bicycle from It? You know what? I do have one. What about the phone booth from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Well, there we go. Mm -hmm. Might as well just go. Vehicle? Might as well just I say the TARDIS. A fly, a fly. It's a time machine. Yeah. I mean, you don't really drive it though. If you punch the phone numbers in, you do. <laughs> <laughs> just go with the TARDIS instead. It actually right. does stuff. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, Noble, what's up, man? Uh, we also got Cameron. He says, Did uh, you see that a Brit named Colin Firth made a life size replica of Kyle Rent's fighter? Oh, Ooh. That's it, like it flies and stuff, or it just like it's like a replica? Like it looks like a prop. 
Mm. Like it probably sits in his front yard and gets a ticket every other week to move it out of the city limits. <laughs> oh, lawn <laughs> ornament, basically. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. And Aaron, he says, I can see the generally as a Decepticon with a southern accent. Yeah. I wish. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and kick off uh, the screen share. Uh, the first tab is something that. We know sport collects, so oh, oh, oh. Star Trek. There you go. Uh, well, you know, we start off with uh, Transformers. So uh, here's your San Diego <clears throat> Comic Con exclusive bot bots. Jesus. Oh, so, this is getting out of hand. Oh, it's even worse for uh, Power Ranger guys. They get a gold plated uh, uh, scooter. Oh, wow. So you, get, you get your camera. There you go. Uh, sport. I won't spend too much time on that. A little energy drink. I do need a camera. Yep. Do you still buy these? I know you said you bought <laughs> some of them. The uh, energy I, drinks looks like those salon hair things. <laughs> I got the first set, but I didn't bother with the second one because it just repaints mostly. Was that grapple? No. <laughs> Was it a bag of bag, chips? Bag. Yeah, that's all I was thinking. Uh, yeah, like, like, like flaming hot Cheetos or something. What they should have done was like made like one hot, of the deodorant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and it's a little little diary or something. I don't. Know. Yeah, probably a textbook with the glasses. Mm -hmm. What's up, Gary? Uh, there's a. Is that supposed to be a taco? That's pretty nasty. Either a taco a, or. What is it? What, what is that? Thing? Lettuce and macaroni and cheese. Supposedly. Your taco. It could be a hero. <laughs> Or Euro or whatever. Cairo. Yeah. And then you got your little, uh, little I guess, pizza and mm -hmm. uh, pretzel, soft drinks, stuff like that. There's a little. There we go. I like that. Candy. This little video game or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that was a lobster roll. Huh. That, that's very specific. Really? Uh -huh. I didn't see any lobster. <laughs> very, very East <laughs> Coast. <laughs> I, I have, have them all the time. Room. I know what it is. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that this um, is a, a, a salted pretzel, or it could yeah. just be like poop, poop I was thinking, salt. I thought it was <laughs> yeah. like some dog poop, where someone just like yeah. did like some tic tac styrofoam. That doesn't look too tasty. Yeah. <laughs> Tic Tac. Just sucked all the, the, the colored flavor off the Tic Tacs and just threw them on the dog. <laughs> He's like, oh, my oh my God. What? Oh my God. All right. That's, that's all I need to get sports. So hopefully uh, you, you pick those up and add them to your collection. So. I hope so. All right. Here's your uh, official images of your Siege Impactor and He's so, Mirage. He's so pouty. He definitely is pouty. Yeah, he's a little mm -hmm. grumbly. I like his colors. Yeah, he looks good. I I like the shoulder cannon. It really, I don't know, just better than the class the club one. Wow, he's stacked. <laughs> <laughs> I I do like how he can flip in his hands for the harpoon. So okay, uh, yeah, go to tank mode. Oh, okay. Tank mode? Yeah. From tank mode, that's how you would do it. Oh, okay. That's what we're talking about. Uh, here, here's one that uh, like we looked at and we saw some pictures of it like at a display case. And it's like, well, this is obviously not finished. And then I looked at these uh, pictures. Oh, but it is. And it, it is actually finished. I'm oh, like, really? A... You left all this just clear right through here? <laughs> it just needs a little strip of silver right there on at least the cockpit. Uh, I was thinking, like, like, why didn't you paint the sides of this white, like, going around and just leave this blue or, or something? Or even just the front to the top, you know, just that small little section. The spoiler is what kills it for me in vehicle mode. Yeah, yeah. This looks like trash. Or, or mirage. Yeah. Yeah. You just like that double deck, the double scoop, like, <laughs> that cooler you were talking you liked right there, man. Yeah. This would be cooler like for a Cybertronian vehicle. Like I could get over the the see-through stuff, the translucent, but if the wheels went into like that hover conversion thing where they turn down and become or, like, or even you know, back. Something about the wheels, it 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 looks too much like the Earth vehicle. 
You know what I mean? Like it's not quite, it's almost there, but the wheels yeah. need to do something for me. At least they're painted, right? It's like he st- yeah. stopped yeah. halfway through scanning the earth vehicle. I was like, okay. It's, it's right, right. Oh, what, what is this supposed to say? Which probably says Cytanes and Cybertronian. Or oh, whatever man. they can get away with. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's definitely, you know it's Mirage, but is it the Mirage that we want, right? I, I mean, mean nope. it, it's going to look fine in robot mode. That's where it's going to be most of the time anyways, so. To me, though, at now at twenty dollars for a deluxe, I'm not just gonna be like, uh, "It doesn't look that great," but it, it looks okay in robot. So, like, like no, it, it he better looks be better. Good. It needs to be really good. If I'm, he looks be better than the 06, in my opinion. What? Yeah, uh, I, I, I still, know, I still in, like the 06. Not in car mode, yeah. right? Not in car mode, though, right? right. Car mode, the 06 one's still better. Oh yeah! Hands down. Oh yeah! Okay. It kills it in vehicle modes. But bot mode, I might be with you on bot mode, just because I've never been crazy about the bot mode of the other one. What about the Combiner Wars one? Get out. I, I, I wasn't crazy about that. I had to throw it out there. <laughs> All right, and now we have the uh, Sky Warp. And, uh, or what is it? I'm sorry. Uh, Decepticon Phantom Strike Squadron multi pack. Actually, <laughs> that's what it's called. I, I so do how- like what they're doing with the target ma- or the battle masters, though. Making you bomb. Yeah. Well, no. I, I, I mean, I don't like that. well, no. <laughs> what they're doing is they're giving you one for Scourge and then one for the. Ep- Another news item coming up here in a few minutes. No, oh, because I thought what they were doing is making you buy them. What, 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 what. Oh, come on. Some, come that on. The, that's, that's a good uh, impression of Dakota doing that impression. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought it was, <laughs> here was for really good. Yeah. Uh, Cameron says one of the sky. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, one Bless of the Skywarp's target masters. Uh, Shoot. Shooty. Shooty. Shoot. 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 There's okay. no R in there. Yeah, there, there is. is. No, it's not. It, it S-H-U-T-E. says S H U T E. Shoot. E. Shooty. Shoot. Look look at the back of the box again. Look, we don't know English. Let us just We don't need okay. to know English. All right. Okay. Cameron, Cameron said he missed the R. Sorry. Uh, I'm still gonna call him Shooty. <laughs> From now on, though, no, he has to go with. I don't spinister. believe Cameron makes mistakes, even though he's telling me he did. Um, it goes with Spinister, uh, was originally called Hair Splitter in G1. Yeah, but yep. well, I, I don't want to buy the Skywarp to get the Target Master because you'll still need one more, you'll still need to get Singe. Skywarp's awesome, I'll get him. Yeah, I the colors look a lot better. I mean, I like I, I, I like the secret. I just don't like these mold. <clears throat> I think they're like the the new Chromia. And all the yeah, they they, they should have crap. definitely tweaked it a little bit more, refined it. On his tippy toes, like that. In terms, <laughs> yeah, yeah. sure it is. Oh, boy, I mean, mine are. I'm looking at mine right now. Mine are like great. Right. It's an exclusive, right? Yeah, I think it's Amazon. Amazon. Okay. Everything's an exclusive now. Yeah. <laughs> no thing you want, anyways. Well, it's good though because they don't uh, restock anything in regular retail. So. Well, what, what's, <laughs> that's true. What's, it's the only way you can buy stuff. Like now, when they say it's an exclusive, you're like, "Finally, I can buy it somewhere." <laughs> also, <laughs> yeah. what's kind of driving me crazy is all the battle damage on these seekers is in the exact same spot. It's just a de- predetermined tempo. Yeah, it's not randomized like Megatron or Magnus. Well, my Red Wing doesn't have the uh, I don't know damage on it on, in vehicle mode. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah, it does. Yeah. It's a darker red. Well, I don't see it unless I have to really look for it. So I call your bluff. You get better lighting. No, because you don't have. There's your problem. 
as your fracas. Fracus, so where's whatever. where's the place that I have to go to get this one? What which hoop? I have to jump through. I thought it was Amazon. It, it'll probably be out on Amazon. One. Probably around Comic Con is what I assume. Uh, I don't mind Amazon. That's not too bad. I don't mind. Yeah, that one. Amazon's doable at least. I'm like Target, girl. Okay. Pulse, <laughs> where they cancel your order. And no, Amazon, uh, Amazon is the best. If they all went to Amazon, I'd be fine with that. And it says it looks like a. They just took a toothbrush with silver paint and just flinged paint at the figure. <laughs> <laughs> And Cameron even says that he thinks this is the worst as far as the little extra paint. The paint on that leg is just ridiculous. Pro- probably because it it's my- just probably because it's silver on black instead of yeah. something that makes yeah. more sense. Red on black, or even just a darker gray. Maybe gunmetal would have worked. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's up, JD Rocks? Uh, they asked, "Do you think the next Transformer movie is in the making?" Nope. Not right now. I don't think so. We'd, we'd be seeing news about it already. I think they were the, the animated one. I thought the animated one was being worked on currently. Well, I think he maybe means live action. But... Oh, the live action. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, uh, I assume that they're talking about live action. Now, the, this. There's some good stuff. Yes, dude. I'm so excited. What have I, uh, I, I've been saying this for a couple years now uh, since they stopped titans returns or whatever i'm like finish your headmasters and finish your target masters please yeah you know um because we didn't get any of the autobot target masters we didn't get any of the dual uh target masters and then we're missing the triple changer headmasters so seeing this man this makes me so happy yeah yeah we just yeah get both of those horror cons out of the way Eight base. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm sure. Like, I mean, we're getting this, and I'm sure eventually we'll get the Snapdragon too. It'll probably, yeah, probably for the yeah. next chapter of the line, or whatever. Yeah, maybe it might not be till next year, but I mean, well, we'll get it. They, yeah. They've said before that they plan on finishing what they start. So, well, I, I don't believe. Okay. That, but, uh, I just yeah. So, I mean, at, always- at least the car is giving us the Seacons, so. Mm-hmm. We can always take them at their word. Ah, oh, man, I, I, I like this. He looks, he looks really good though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In yeah. all modes, yeah. Like yeah. other than other than Jetfire, I'm putting this guy. Maybe Springer's right behind this guy, but I think this guy is the second best thing they've made. That mo- that monkey mode. Oh my god, he looks good. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's great. I really want to compare the the last headmaster that we got of him with this one and see how they compare like the little tight master that we got because this one's going to have the feature so is it going to have the head Give yeah it, in the gorilla mode you can kind of see the hinges on his forehead hmm. like on the very top of his head you can kind of see like the waist oh uh, okay that's what you're saying uh, I just like it. I always love the colors of this dude, too. Yeah, yeah totally. I, the deco is <laughs> awesome. Uh, here's a little closer up. Yeah, you can see a little bit better now. The yeah, I'm size. Get two of these. Will they paint the teeth? Yeah, probably purple. Yeah. Yeah, they, I think they're done with the stickers. After everyone complained about it. Well, if they didn't make them so cheap. Yeah. God. Uh, let's see. Camera says, "Isn't the Gorilla Head a mask like uh, Titans Return Galvatron?" And, and so I, I think so. At, at least the yeah, mouth. It looks it looks like it, yeah. but it still look, it, man, it looks. It, it just, does its job. It would just slide in here. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm fine with that. I think it looks awesome. Yeah, but someone's been speculating that this is a retool of Blitzwing, and I just don't see it. I don't know how they came up with that. Yeah, I heard that too. They must have heard from John Warden. <laughs> also uh, this goes you know back to the astro train they did a couple years ago to where i was like i love astro train but i don't like the way that they did that astro train so i'm not just gonna buy it to buy it like i actually need to love the figure for me to buy it i love this figure yeah yeah and it's like I, super chunky 
what I was expect what I was expecting them to do, they did for the train mode with the add on parts. They turned it into the tender. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it looks good. Turn turn it into what? The tender, the coal car at the back. Oh okay, yeah. yeah. So is this leader class? That's actually like a Voyager class. You're gonna be able to put a fully combined uh, combined Wars Devastator in there. <laughs> oh, that's that's a that's a pipe dream. That, that's what I asked for. When I, mm-hmm. Last night, message Hasbro. Cybertron Cyber- train mode looks spot on. <laughs> I like, like a little bit of paint, like just black. Yeah, on the on the wheels here. But then I again, it also fake. it looks kind of like the cartoon that way too. So maybe if they just did the uh, the piston rods, put a little bit of silver on those. Uh, Cameron, why, why you got to Why you got to be a downer like that, man? Uh, what's up, action figure expert, man? Cameron said, next show is the deadline for the current official (laughs) (laughs) It's true. It is. He's keeping track. The the robot mode looks awesome on this. Cameron's like, I've been keeping track for four years now. I remember it was July. I do remember that. (laughs) Cameron's got it dated. A year ago, I begged for one more year. (laughs) I said, okay, this is the last time. I really love the robot mode on this guy. He looks just like the cartoon. Yeah, I, I like everything, yeah. but I, again, I don't, I don't like the little. It looks like he's been. Uh, <laughs> maybe know. maybe, that, maybe that free entry. Sure. Yeah, I don't mind it too much, just because it's. But space if, space. Yeah. If, if they do it like they did with Jetfire, to where it's more subtle in hand, I'd be happy. Because on, on Jetfire, it's really subtle. It's really subtle, yeah. It, in, in the pictures, it didn't look that subtle, but it definitely, in, in hand, is more subtle. And uh, I'm happy with this as well on uh, Crosshairs. I mean, we're, yeah. we're gonna, well, well, for one, where, where's this Target Master at? Yeah, probably go at the bottom <laughs> of the package. Oh, gee. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's an extra six bucks. Oh, fine. As long as they, they <laughs> sell them, you know, like that, then, then I'll buy it. But, uh, at least, you know, we're getting the Target Masters here, and I'll just throw some Target Master with them. Um, uh, if you got the Takara Windblade, she came with pinpointers. So. I have no idea. Uh, I, I, I like this Ironhide uh, mold use for, for this, because it was an odd-looking vehicle anyway. Yeah, yeah. it's like some sort of weird Cybertronian and monster truck yeah. well like the front the front of it was just like this and then it just had his like legs sticking out yeah like in the back with wheels attached to him so like this i, I think this is a cool mold anyway yeah it works now, mm-hmm. now use this one more time and turn it into snowcat from energon <laughs> and then i'd be happy hopefully they fix the issue with the leg panels yeah i mean they fixed it with red wings so maybe they'll fix it with ratchet and Crosshairs. Oh yeah, man! I like they they mm-hmm. better come out with a point blank insure shot. Yeah, the space minivan. Oh, you, you got other. We uh, got a tow line for it as well. I mean, you practically got it right here already. <laughs> so yeah, this, who's on? Oh, go ahead. Who's, go. who's on our list for the stuff that we haven't seen, Autobot wise? Are we getting this? You think we'll get a slap um, dash and a short shot? We well, need a sure shot. I know we I know we really don't discuss rumors here, but they're I mean these were on that list and so was Wheeljack, so and needle nose. Yeah, mm-hmm. so so like we get the spinister here and don't forget I still got my boy scoop up there yeah. waiting for you guys. So uh so, something I really like about this is they gave him the the two cockpits on his legs. Yeah, I was like looking from the at old, that, like where did that come t- from here? Probably from underneath uh-huh. the back end of the helicopter. You think so? Because I was looking here. I'm like, well, these are the exact same size. They don't split apart. They, you know, I'm like, yeah, where, where the heck's the other one at? Huh? Uh, it's a really nice of engineering that I really want to check out. Yeah. And it looks, I mean, it looks good. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I'm just glad it's not like a sure. Minor Wars thing, you know, uh, like I, yeah. I'm glad this is its own mold. It's proper. 
Uh, so you can put them with your scavengers. Yep. We need uh, for Decepticons. We need a Quake and a Needle Nose because there are three uh, oh, yeah. double mm-hmm. target masters for Decepticons, and there were four Autobots, and we only got Scoop. Which I, I, know, I know it shouldn't count. Figure. I know it shouldn't count, but we got that one from Titans Return. Hold us for now. Which Quake. one? Quake. Oh yeah, we did. Get oh, a yeah, we did. Do uh, that. Man, I, dude, I didn't buy I know, him. I, don't I know. know. Wait, wait. Do I have him? I might have him actually. The uh, only problem him. with uh, Needle Nose is that he's going to be a Voyager, and he's and, in the Starscream mold. Right, and this here's oh. going to be deluxe. No, I don't. No, they they need all be deluxe. Don't tell me he's going to be on that stupid mold. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Sorry, hey, I just we just he, burst your bubble. It's the truth. He he is not not going to be using that mold. Are they going to retool Mirage to be Slapdash? I, I'd love that or Leadfoot. Let me retool it and fix it. I mean, there, there's a few that we haven't gotten since, since like <laughs> G1. I mean, there's a few. Point blank. I mean that looks good. I I get. I'm not gonna buy a Voyager needle nose, especially out of that ugly mold. Well, I think that the announcement of the Voyager one jacked up the price for the Combiner Wars one from the club because one went earlier today for three hundred and something dollars. Wow. What did Mike? What went that for? That? The uh, Thunder Mayhem needle nose from the club. Really? Oh, wow. Three hundred and twenty-five dollars. And get this, wind uh, wind sweeper went for three eighty five. Yeah, wow, getting, they must be rare in the aftermarket. They are. See, that's what I want Hasbro to do too: is the uh, trigger cons and trigger butts. Uh, here, here you have uh, Takara is going to be doing thirty five or thirty fifth anniversary convoys. So, uh, for Takara, you're going to have. You know, without the trailer, and then also they're doing these colors as well, and they're going to be putting them in the uh, Takara packaging. So, well, no, uh, I, I think you have to buy these as a set. They don't come packaged together, but you have to buy them both together if you want them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, set the yeah. two for like a hundred bucks. Yeah. So fifty. So in other words, fifty dollars for a trailer is prime. Mm-hmm. And a Voyager yeah. no, prime. No, thank you. Yeah, well, it's for it's the car, so it's I mean. pack. You're just paying for the packaging, is all you're paying for. Mm-hmm. But the prompt, to my understanding, had some uh, paint decos different on it. The on, the, on this prom here had yeah, paint. yeah, it looks brighter. But I mean, no, I'm sorry, it's just not worth it to me. No, I the got the proms, I'm done. Aaron says he <laughs> wants the Horicons and Monstructor. Yeah, that'd to- be awesome. Yep. I, 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 I went blank. What, which ones are... Which ones Wasn't are Wasn't the Monstructors the mini... The mini... Uh, bit, the little yeah. tiny ones? Yeah, the they're the Pretenders. Yep. It's and a Pretender Combiner. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're talking about the Dino King. Okay. Yeah, so the Hasbro Dino King one? Yeah. And okay. then the, the Horrorcons are Snapdragon and 8 base. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like I'd like the Dino King as one of them. Yeah, I think I like that deco better. Oh, and uh, did you see that they are going to be coming out with a reflector, which it comes as a three pack, yeah. and it's going to be toy colors, and it's yep. going to come with all the little extra stuff too. So we don't have yeah. any pictures of that, but they said mm-hmm. they're going to come out with that. So well, I think we, I think we'll we see it next show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we've been speculating that. I, 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 yeah. So here, here you can see the you know the packaging for these. Two I, I do like that packaging art for the the Studio Series mold. Like I like how they mimic yeah. the original box art. Yeah, it's nice. Not hundred dollars. It, no, it's not worth hundred dollars. But just to have that <clears throat> as like a print or something, that'd be cool. Just rip it off the internet and send it to the UPS store. No, no, but then you got that sample <laughs> watermark on it. All right, these are going to be super limited. Uh, it's only going to be available in Japan. Uh, apparently, the one with this little uh, 
thing is only going to be 500 sets. Hmm. I'm glad I'm not in So it's a, a more highly produced version of the Lucky Draw, huh? Yeah, so you get like this little, little whatever stuff in there. So. Can only get it in Japan, so and oh. the anime accurate smoke screen. I, th I think this one's pretty interesting, like seeing it without all the advertisements on it or the sponsors. Dude, does he come with all those little uh smoke details? Yeah, well, it comes with one and splits apart. Yeah, for the sides. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's so cool. That's sh that, that's what they should have done all along. Yeah, is that uh, is that promise app? Uh, this is the uh, the one and only world famous. Okay, uh, I, I went ahead and your recipe. Him. Uh, I went ahead and told him what your Mount Rushmore was. Situation, <laughs> dude. <laughs> thanks. I didn't even I didn't even see what the Mount Rushmore was. So. <laughs> Uh, it was uh, TV or movie cars uh, that aren't transformers. Yeah, that aren't transformers, and, and like the the so, Boucher the Boucher family uh, fan boat had to have been up there, <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> along, <laughs> along with the Boucher family lawnmower riding lawnmower. That's Both another fan favorite. How about General that? Lee. Yeah. Uh, well, was the lawnmower, the swamp boat from Waterboy, the General Lee. And then the uh, hairy dog van from Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, honorable mention <laughs> is the uh, motorhome from Spaceballs. Yeah. Big big fan of uh, honorable mention would be a uh, Falcor from Neverending Story. It's not a vehicle. It's not a vehicle though. Uh, I yeah. was gonna say the uh, like I was gonna name just four swamp boats for you. I was gonna be like the swamp boat from Waterboy, <laughs> swamp boat from U.S. Marshals. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Swamp boat from Swamp Thing. <laughs> Gotta love that. <laughs> oh, rest in peace, Swamp Thing. They're Gotta not even that. off the so, boats. They're, they're just like the, the tin ones that you can just put like a little, a little put a, tin boat on. A little, on. On. A little motor on it. A little trolling motor on it. <laughs> so, did they? Yeah, I think they did. They looks like they remolded the cannons. They also gave him a Jay Leto face. Hey guys, look at me! Oh, look, he's got different faces though, because he's got a little like, happy yeah. there, and then there's his. Uh... <laughs> Dude, look, I understand. <laughs> I understand those faces are uh, like cartoon accurate, but eesh. This is the face, like whatever you. That's his Autobot Spike face. All of them are his Autobot Spike face. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you go to the, the bathroom at a restaurant, and then you look over, and there's no TP. That's the Golden Corral. <laughs> oh my God. I just got the ring steak and shrimp and I'm not got no toilet paper. Uh this is Flame Toys. Uh, this is gonna have die cast and uh oh man, uh guess how much it is. I'm gonna show you a couple of five hundred dollars. I'm going Four. with uh two seventy five. I remember no, tra no transform. Three ninety nine ninety eight. Three ninety nine ninety nine. I'm gonna say four hundred. <laughs> One dollar. <laughs> it says a thousand. Oh my what? god! What? Are you kidding me? That's mighty. That's mighty bold, Flame Toys. Wow. Don't you know Transformers oh fans are wow. all poor? <laughs> Too rich for my blood. Yeah. All right, let, we'll see how much it really is here in a second. I like how he has the uh, animated axes. I mean, that's it. that's the only positive thing oh, I can say about face, it. He's, he's so he's so proud of his pelvis. Is that like? Oh, wasn't there a comic book cover that had him without his face mask? Pelvic pride. Oh, and he's got a like a cracked mask. 
or something. There was a there was a whole comic book story where like he just went through a body upgrade and it didn't come with a face mask, and the whole time he just complained about missing his face mask and he picked well, up a piece of scrap metal and stuck yeah, it wasn't that the uh, spotlight that. spotlight around packs? It may have uh, may have been for oh, I'm thinking like the Marvel comics. There was like a cover that had him without the mouth plate. Um, he had this really derpy grin on his face. Uh, let's see. It's four hundred dollars. Uh, and camera says it's Spotlight Orion Packs. I think is what you're talking about. And then yeah. Ed says Pelvic Pride. Yeah. Pelvic Pride. <laughs> We're gonna get the shirt. Start printing the shirts right now. Pelvic, Pelvic Pride. Pride. No, this. Yeah, I said only before. I'm getting this only one. Transformers will know. Uh, this is the only picture we have. This is San Diego Comic Con exclusive. This is the Flame Toys IDW. Uh, Dalton, you said you're getting it. Yeah. Really? All right. All right, Cameron. Yeah, I've got the. Write it down. This is one that we've got Dalton to say he's getting. I've got the regular IDW colored one, so I'll, I'll get this one too. I, I've, no, I mean it's a model kit. I everyone hold. It. Everyone hold Dalton. We heard it mm-hmm. right here. How'd you like it, Dalton? The one that you have. It it was a fun build, and you know, painting it. it for me, for me, it's more of a therapeutic thing to build the model kits. Yeah. It gets me to. Chance to I calm down you. and relax. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think you need yeah, more kits. I've got a lot. <laughs> but I need, yeah, I definitely need more. <laughs> Cameron says it is noteworthy something Dalton is getting that Dalton actually agrees he is getting. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, family show, family show. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, imaginary Mark. Uh, this is the uh, one statue that we have for today. So, Ew. Uh, and Ed says, "Yeah, I built Gundam, so I know what you mean, Dolph." Well, there's a new kit coming out that I'm really looking forward to. Dude, you should have you should have seen me at the con at uh. Trying to sell all those built kits. <laughs> Good luck. Got them, two, uh, or let's see, three of them built, two of them not, and then like, the, like people were buying the non built ones, and then like, when I'm like, the kid was like ready to buy it, he was like, oh, it's built. I was want one that wasn't built. I'm like, dude, that saved you like three hours, man. Like you should like pay me extra, dude. It's funny. It's the one. It's the one that I wanted too, but like I saw you'd already built it, and I was like, no. Like I, was, I was the first one. It was the Strike Freedom. Oh and, man! Uh, yeah, no, like, and, and, like he, he ended up knocking it over. Like it and everything. Yeah, I gotta reassemble. Them. But dude, like, I saw Josh like taking a sharpie out to those little price stickers. <laughs> they just like every time, every time someone was like, "No, I want it. I want. want I want to build it." He was just like knocking five bucks off of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had them sure. for twenty, and then one guy because I had it uh, like thirty or twenty-five, and then I put it at twenty, and then the guy's like, "We take 15 I'm like, "No, I'll take 20 He's like. Okay, like he he had already like I could see it that he was like cool with like twenty, and he was like, "We take 15? Nope. Okay, <laughs> you played your hand too soon there. Yes, <laughs> uh, this is going to be a TFCon yeah. exclusive. Which one, Dr. Max? Toronto. Oh, okay. I like this mold. What what is this hanging down here right now? What is she supposed to be? Part of her thigh. Huh. It's 2019. Man, yeah, Just come on. It. Exactly. Exactly. That's a transgender out there. She's beautiful. Hey, it's 2019. Yeah. Josh. <laughs> no, she's, says, I, I can she's, see it now here that that's part of the inside. But like right on this one, it was like, I'm just like. It's just like that picture of, the, of Primal's box for the MP. I thought it was like <laughs> the. Michael Bay <laughs> Devastator thing going on. He's talented <laughs> in a different way. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what scale is this? This is masterpiece scale, right? Yes. Yeah. It's weird because it can kind of sort of work with their reformatted stuff too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's MP. I definitely like this deco. I like it when they put it on the chug mold for yeah. Lifeline. It's already chipping. <laughs> Right there. Oh, um, is that a stress mark? Uh, oh, it's just a chip right there. You wow. see? The yeah. Big. Black well, hole. I mean, like, if you if you look at the the, the pelvis right there on the hip. Uh uh-huh. The shine. Is that oh, shine? Yeah, it looks, it looks like some yeah, shine on the that, plastic. That, that just looks shine. like a shine, like a reflective. 
Yeah. Uh, so, so the same thing for the inner inner side of that backpack too, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. That yeah, looks, could that, be that a one. stress. That looks like a mm. stress mark. Mm, I don't know. I think it. Look at where the Man. light source is. You can shout see it on the arm too. Shout out to all that knockoff quality right here as well. Yeah. You can see the yeah. shine yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Third party trash. But uh, but on the on the backpack that looks like a stress mark. Just I don't know. What are you talking about? This right here. Yeah, up a little bit more, right along that line, right there. That's light, man. All right. Yeah. Uh, th- yeah, that's light. You're not seeing it from the same gang- angle I am. So. He's got a better view. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> no, move your hand a little bit more to the left and look at it. You know, like, like kind of from the top view. You see what I'm talking about? Oh my god. Uh, all right, Master My Creations. Here's their exclusive TFCon. This is what should have been at the Chicago show instead of that dumb. What was it? A wing repaint? Was someone yeah. on Facebook? They, they were the Diruger repaint. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Like for me, this is a uh, like daylight, <laughs> daylight sort of thing. Like I, I dig shattered glass drift, but not enough. Too like, little, I, too you late. Know, yeah, I'm like a man, like. If if it would have been there, I would have impulse bought it. But now, like I just don't feel that I need to go out of my way to get this when I've already got the club. I feel version. the same same exact way. I feel what, exactly what, the same way. What, what you think, Rick? I mean, they they didn't do too bad of a job on light speed here, did they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I probably would have. So, a, a year ago, I would have bought this. Just pose yeah. them with your Deadpool figure. I may get this because I don't have this mold. That's another thing, man. For me, the mold's just uh just too big. Like too they, they really they really should have done more than meets the eye drift instead of the McCarthy like Cybertronian drift. Um like that's just my my problem with it altogether as a mold, but yeah, it's again, fun. like it just, still looks really good though. Yeah, it does look I, it does look really yeah. good. I still like it. I just wouldn't buy it again because it feels like it's I'm just kind of I'm starting to get out of that that stuff. I do feel You're like I'm starting to get wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not over complete. Like, I still feel like there's holes, like we were talking about the other day. But like, wrong, wrong that's ratchet. a hole. Like, sh- a shattered glass version isn't a hole. But some of the characters that like took up a mm-hmm. lot of space in that comic, you know. So, yeah, that's true. This is your uh, BMB Black Mamba. Oh, knockoff robot. <laughs> uh, it says the wing drift equals remold cash cow. So yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I, yeah, completely I agree that. with that. I, totally I understand it. That. Yeah, yeah, I understand it. Yeah. Yep, yep. I've got exclusives for the next ten years for TFCon. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Especially <laughs> just out of just, I mean, they they could do so many of those. Just those uh, two molds. That we circle of light. You. Just the circle of light in general, like all those. Uh, bots, yeah, I mean, they can they can do it, but they made like man. four or five of those azaleas over the course of like two years, you know, yep. yeah, about. yeah. Didn't, didn't they come out with a, a, a brawl not too long ago, like with the new studio series? Or I, I, I think yeah, that's yeah. what this is, is a knockoff, yeah. yeah. Is it resized? Yeah, though? Black Mamba does uh, does a lot of knockoffs. Oh, they do, it's, oh, okay. yeah, it's up, upscale and. Tweaking a few things, mostly. Right. Well, no, we're getting rid of that then. Forget you saw it. All right, and uh, make toys. This is their crowdfunding thing. So if you want, it's a hot link. I wonder if they're going to run off with your money too, or whatever. Well, they just uh, sent out the other one, right? The yellow one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. After a year. Oh. Man, that would have been a uh, would have been pretty nervous. Like at this point, with third party companies doing crowdfunding, it's like, who do you trust? Like they just need <laughs> to do it through what is it, GoFundMe, to where there's like there's some kind of there's something in place. You know what I mean? There's there's some kind of a like where if they if they bail on you, like Moz Toys, and I think even uh, Unrustables for like one release, um, like there's a way for you to just get your money back without it being too long for your credit card company to be like, well, there's nothing we could do about it. I, I think it's the the ultimate uh, third party formula to do is you kind of build rapport. And so where you got all these people that are like, like huge, like fans toys, you know, 
like fans and for the like yeah. even if they got a crappy figure and it came in like and it was just dust, it'd be like it doesn't matter, man. Fans toy is still the best, you know. And then you do a crowdfunding thing, something huge, but you do that, you wait until you're ready to just like, dude, I'm done with this business and I'm gonna go buy a, a house in the Bahamas or something. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's that thing. Uh Cameron says there were nine uses of the reformatted Azalea mold. Uh, though wow. only three had the <laughs> Azalea name. Only? <laughs> Ed says, what happened to Mass Toys? Oh, they man, it was um, it was for their, their pipes. The, the I think they called it Stacks or whatever, the IDW yeah. pipes. Uh, this is um, Toy World, by the way, too, so go ahead. Maybe, maybe it was another release. I, I, I can't I can't remember, um, but anyways, it they had done a crowdfund for uh, a figure, and essentially they did not uh, deliver on it. And then instead of releasing the full figure of the pipes that they were going to make, they just released the flattened version that was going to be an accessory uh, for like your MMC Overlord, because you know Overlord, you know, stepped on pipes until he was crushed. You, you know, um, this is a fact, though, right? Yeah, oh. yeah, that I mean, yeah, okay. pipes. I just, I I don't know that just like, hey. like starting some kind of rumor. Or no, no, that, 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 like, that that was that was for sure. I can't remember yeah. what the thing was that they did not fulfill, but they essentially like took that money and ran, and then they okay. and then they released that pipes. Like there was a a couple cases of them, and it wasn't the full transforming pipes. It was just the accessory piece. I uh, think it was the then, Starscream that they did the crowdfund on. Maybe. Um, hey, Cameron. And, Cameron, can we get an it. accuracy check on Isle Primal Sabbath? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to you know, make uh, sure that we're not just spreading rumors here. No, okay. for sure. For sure. Yeah, but that's, I mean, like, Moz Toys is, I mean, they're done. You know, um, they they released that little accessory piece and ran off with everyone else's money. And, like, that's it. That's a wrap, which is a shame because I really look forward to that, that, uh, transformable pipes whenever i was going all in on uh lost light bots okay. but um Cam cameron's you know. backing you up here he says what dakota is saying is what i've heard as well uh toy world they probably are about to comment saying can you not be talking about this stuff while you're looking at our product because we, <laughs> <laughs> we don't want people getting the wrong idea here <laughs> this one i want to get for sure yeah, yeah, it looks it's, cool. It said that they were supposed to do Seekers too. Uh, Yo, man, why, why, is his, why is his smokestack <laughs> bent on his shoulder? I think that's for the Cybertron mode. Yeah, you, you can do it too. Swap two out ways. parts. Yep. When's this, when this coming out? This one actually might be of interest. Soon, yeah, it looks like. Man, look, know? look, man. He's got little chips here, too. You know? Man, poor quality. Well, I think those are intentional. Are you sure? They they look like it. Yeah, it looks intentional. Look, it look, and they got a little black scrape here, and they got a little bit of silver where it looks like it's worn, man. Some more of that silver chipping right there. <laughs> All right, uh, we got something else from Toy World. There you go. There's these little guys painted, man. A repaint. <laughs> Is that a oh? Oh, there's, your, there's your guy. He's all painted you're, up. You're red. I still don't understand how the the like. I, I think this is a separate release. Through where the propeller's going, and then the the bullets can oh, shoot. Oh well, out. Josh. A uh, a little fun fact is supposedly yeah. whenever the uh, like it was essentially like whenever the guns would shoot, the propellers were on a, a set of gears that would like they would miss the. The bullets all together. Yeah, it was timed. Like it was, yeah, it was timed. It was. It's like way ahead of its time too, um, for that kind of technology way back then. But yeah, it, it was. It was a guarantee because, like, at first those guns would just eat those propellers up, and so they had to. They had to do it to where, whenever they were shooting, like it would be a guaranteed miss. And it was like a, a series of like gears and uh, okay, other I, things, I can... which is pretty cool. Okay, because I didn't know that they had some like that they were that advanced back then because I can just imagine if I was a pilot back in the day and be like, yo, Hey, these guns are like pointed, like right to where the thing that's going to keep me in the air. I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. It's guaranteed to miss. Like, I, like, oh, I don't know about that. You know, 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's 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 nuts, but it's like I mean, just that that kind of advancement in technology to you know. Ooh, I just Red Baron. remember it uh, Indiana Jones dad sitting in the little turret back here. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. just and then just shoot, son, they got us. <laughs> I know he lied. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, tell him about the Twinkie. What? What Twinkie? Are you talking about Mike's Twinkies? No. <laughs> Mike's got. I think, I think there was one in the background. One of the background the pictures. I like oh. how he's uh, how he's swooshing the Red Baron in, in this picture. Uh-huh. He's just... Reminds me of this video that someone put up like five, six years ago on YouTube. His wife was snoring. And he just had a little plane flying by every time she'd snore. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. But, uh, I'm trying yeah. to see what they're talking look, look at the one on the left pulling a uh, Hitler salute. Oh, okay. I, I see oh, yikes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I think that I think this guy is Twinkie though. I see it. Go back, go back, Josh. Where's the Twinkie? Go back, go back one more. <laughs> is that a? Is that like a like Mike a Miller Light can, or is it like a Bud Light can back there? No, nah, it's just a blue <laughs> can. Uh, this is part of that little wing. This is part of him. No, you see the the can though, the drink. This right here, the can. Yeah. Probably Pepsi. No, no the, the if anything, it'd be a Bud Light. The Miller Lights are white; they're not blue. Oh, that's right. I don't know why I think the Miller Lights are still in like blue cans and blue bottles. Jesus, man. Oh, yeah. Like, well, I don't. It's like I don't drink that water stuff anyways. So I don't. I don't know what he's talking about about the Twinkie, but yeah. I don't, I don't know. yeah. If there was a Twinkie in there, Mike would have found it real quick. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, these are. Newage. I always new call age. them Newage. What, what's the yeah. correct name for them? Newage. New yeah, age. New age. Yeah, new, new age. age. Mm-hmm. I, I like Newage. Uh, but uh, so you got your G1 Insecticons. Legend scale. Supposedly they're shorter than Flipper. How? I, mean, I, I, I like my little hats, bro. I, I call, I I call out, BS so. on that. I don't know. I don't collect legends, but well, I mean, I've got the little legends that Hasbro came out with, you know. Now, like, yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's my question: Are they legend size or are they legend scale? That's something I, I got to scale. It says they're legend scale. Okay, so then they're going to be way tinier than legends yeah. uh, size. Also, they're going to be like little bitty. If it's if it's scaled to legends, they're then be they're like going to be flies. Then yeah, they're going to be tiny. Yeah, they're really small. Yeah, I was gonna say if they were legend size though, like that's a different that's a different ball game. Well, you I gotta bring that I gotta bring that up on on Stasis Lock a lot. I'm like, look, guys, they're also a three pack. Big difference. So yeah, they're they're really tiny. New Age makes the smallest ones of all the companies that make the legend stuff. Well, and their transformations look almost MP, especially with that jazz. Oh, they are good. MP. Yeah, Yeah, um, hang on. Like, let's let's slow it down a little bit there, Dalton. They're, they're really intricate there. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, let's not start being like looking at these where they're like a couple centimeters no, no, just, tall. Just, like, and they're like MPs, you know? Just the way the transformation works, it reminds me of like the older MP figures. All right. We're going to move on. Uh, here, here's, some, here's some more. There, there, there you go, right there. Wait, painted rims, windows. I like the metallic paint on the windows. Uh, yeah, it does look nice. But prime. I don't like all those screws uh, in the very front, but I, I get you got to put them somewhere, I guess. But looks like someone just shot his knees all up. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that siege pink. <laughs> <laughs> no hip skirts. That's good. I mean, no, no, no tire cheeks either. So, I, 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 I mean, yeah. it's basically like a masterpiece, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> there we go. He's like, do y'all feel that? Pull my finger. 
<laughs> I think I, I feel like Iron Hot might say that to Red. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I could see that. He's just, Iron Hot's just getting slammed on some like uh, <laughs> on some on some heavy oil, and he's like, "Hey, Ratchet, pull my finger." I hope you get a, a white and a red in there. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. So you get comic and tune. Yeah, yeah that's cool. It's yeah, so I, I do like that the blue on the window. That looks nice. Like that, that's something. something I wish more of the ratchet figures had was the red head, just as a swappable oh, option. No, no, no. This is, this is a family show, guys. Oh my god. What? Wait, what? <laughs> I was surprised you didn't get that, Dalton. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I totally missed it. <laughs> well, t- uh, you're older. It's sorry. gonna put sugar in Ironhide's gas tank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get off this whole thing. These are very disturbing pictures. Right. What are they doing to my transformers? Uh, uh, here's fans' hobby. Uh, now we can see the uh, vehicle mode because uh, we we've seen the uh, what was it? The robot mode at the last. Uh, I don't yeah. even. I don't even remember. Yeah, this is, uh, uh, this is. Minerva. Minerva. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I at first, the, we at the I saw robot. it. The robot does not look good. I saw it oh, and I was man. just like, I saw it and I was just like, oh, is this a jazz? And I saw the sirens up top. I was like, nope, don't know who it is. Somebody no. needs to make my girl, dude. It, like we looked at, we looked at the robot mode and we were all like, okay, that's that's pretty terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, fans hobby. You're better than that. Uh, Cameron says people are upset that they made the front end and legs, uh, the front end, the legs instead of the arms. See that? That's so. Yeah, it's all, it's all it's all thrown off. And so it doesn't where, matter. Where I mean, it's fine. Well, yeah, it doesn't look like her in car mode, like where she has the like little like doors sticking up and stuff. Like it, it doesn't look like that anymore. Well, I don't see it, Dakota. All right, so three and three quarter inch stuff for Dakota. Uh, here's he just left. Desk. What? Is he coming back? He dropped off. He'll probably come back. All right, well, this is for him. Was it Smith of Legions or? No. Uh, Injustice 2. Uh, mm. High employees. Three and three quarter. Yeah, three and three quarter inch, man. Look, look at the detail on this stuff, man. These are 20 bucks a piece. Well, yeah, they better have some good paint if they're that much. For yeah. Three and three quarter Agreed. inch. Yeah. It's usually they're what? Ten? Eight, ten? For three and three quarter inch figures. What What are you ta- referring that to? Like G.I. Joe's? G- well, like G- Star Wars and Marvel. Yeah. That's 13 bucks. Mm. Oh, yeah. Look how much more paint and detail. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. I, I mean, if they're going to have that much paint and detail, that better be worth the $20. Yeah, I, I think it is like it, like if you know all the extra detail and stuff that you get on them. It's not like some of them that are like charging like forty dollars or something. Um, here's Hasbro, uh, their SDCC exclusive Reinhardt. Which as soon as I saw this, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna collect them all. Uh, I'm just gonna get. All of them in their base skin, and then I'll just buy the skins that I like that I actually use, like the legendary skins and stuff. Because I, I I don't even remember this skin. So, yeah, looks like they're doing uh, exclusives with everything. So, I wonder how much he is because the regular retail release of this guy is fifty bucks. All right, Cameron. Yeah, he's dipping out. Yeah. See you, Cameron. And here are uh, the second wave of Mm. ultimates. So you got Zarya, which this is her basic skin, McCree basic skin, Junkrat basic skin. This is a two-pack, and these are like just kind of off-color skins. So they're these aren't the the ones that they actually come with. Uh, and these are just off colored skins, and this is a two pack. So I'm going to pass on that, pass on that. But I'll, I'll get the McCree that. looks awesome. The, the the base McCree? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So you know, here's. Dakota would be all over that. 
here's the little two pack where this is just like just some different base colors because they have you know different base colors and then they have like i don't know epic legendary and rare skins and stuff like that like there's some awesome skins but i'm just gonna buy the regular ones and buy the, like the legendary ones that i'll really like i wonder how these are doing have you guys heard like are they flying off the shelves or uh, man i i don't know because uh they're actually the only figures that uh because they've only had that one wave and like i still if i if i needed to buy them i could still walk into all my walmarts and my target and buy all the you know the complete wave that i needed yeah and i i got these was a few months ago so you're mr cowboy dakota yeah oh no, he's, he's coming back up. Okay. Yeah. Now, that's, is this uh, like Genji, isn't these... it? Yeah, that's Genji. Oh, you know, and there's Hanzo. I, I, I don't know who Hanzo is, but I know who Genji is. They're brothers. <coughs> Sweet arm tat. Sleeved up. It's pretty nice. Good message for the kids. <laughs> that's going to be a uh, two pack right there. But this isn't the base Genji because the base Genji has like a lime green instead of this red. Yeah, he looks he's he's cooler. Uh so that's gonna be a two pack. So that's one that I'm gonna pass on. And then uh, there's, there's your junk rat. Well, I'll just wait for their, their base, the regular base skins to come out and I'll buy those. Or if it's like a legendary skin that I like, then I'll buy it. Dude, is that like a screw coming out of his belly button? It's a canteen. Oh, it's okay. on the side, yeah. <clears throat> all right. It just looked like it was plugging into his belly button. I was like, all right, this game got really weird. <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't put it past Chuck Rat to do something weird like that. So, If these don't sell well, does that mean maybe next year these will be G.I. Joe? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there, there you go. Uh, there. there. Uh, man, I'm waiting on the uh, American flag. So like this uh, it's a very yeah, yes, man. I want this so bad, but I'm just not interested in it. And then it's six inch, like three and three quarter bust, man. I got to stick to my guns, but it does look awesome. Where's my Mora? There's a uh, Zarya. Uh, she's actually in a four pack, the carbon fiber four pack from GameStop. So I decided I'm not going to get that either because. Just carbon fiber skins. That's just wait cool. for this one. Yeah, yeah, I'll get this one because it's the base. And then, like, dude, she's got one that one of her skins. It's called Totally Eighties, and she's <laughs> got like her hair's done different. She's got a sweatband, and then uh, she's got one of those like workout sweatshirts where it's kind of cut from the bottom and like it's like we're real big and kind of baggy. And then she's got spandex on with like the socks. Real poofy socks, like three layers of different colors going up. That, the cap. That doesn't, that doesn't sound girl. very Russian. Well, it's, it's totally 80s. Uh, it, it, I mean, they all had different skins. It's, that it's totally 80s, comrade. Yeah. Let's, let's see. Uh... <laughs> Duh. Listen to him pecking away on that keyboard. <laughs> here, 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 here's the one that. What, what the hell is this? Uh oh. <laughs> Ooh, almost got you in trouble. I know. Uh oh. There, there you go. See, like, I, I'd buy that skin. That, that one looks awesome. That looks cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there, there's a lot so, of them that have really cool skins. And I got a tab down here for to code a little bit later. Uh, this is, I believe, it, this is going to be the last wave of the Mattel's Multiverse. So you got your Nightwing. I'm so glad they're losing the license. The Beast Boy, I guess he doesn't look too bad, though. He looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if their DC distribution is just as bad as their Halo distribution. Oh, God. I think it's worse. I still see uh, it's hard to believe. No, because I, I, all of, I can actually see these on the shelf. 
all of I, Halo Wave Two and like that, Wave Two Point Five was like nothing but Kmart. Like only Kmart's had them. Look, like who has a Kmart around them? Not me. I don't. Um, not me. Neither do I. But look, look at look at this face. This is why Mattel needed to lose this. Okay, look at the face, and then like you see where like it kind of blasts yeah. you right here, to where you can see oh, the yeah. gap in the silver. It's not lined up there. You can see those lines clearly going down. Uh, like even that, that face just looks terrible it's, too. It's just not up to date with where we are on with articulation either. It's I don't understand. They had it way too long. The Halo the stuff is nice though, man. Like that's what I don't get. Like. I understand this looks bad, but the Halo stuff all looks good, and it's it's up to snuff, I would say, with like so modern there, day. You yeah, know. so they're wrestling figures. And then here's your build a figure. This is the worst Batman animated movie that I've ever <laughs> It was wow. terrible. Yeah, the animation was really weird. Dude, their house is transformed. Into yeah, giant yeah, robot. I know. Uh, it's Japan, so. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't see it. expect. Oh, well, here we go. Uh, this is San Diego Comic Con exclusive two pack. Really? This is the this is the Marvel Legends exclusive. So congratulations. I mean, it's neat, but is it exclusive worthy? Who need? I mean, like, there's I, you know, <laughs> unless you're like a, a YouTuber completist, who's buying this? Right. <laughs> like, Jonathan. They have the uh, bot bots as exclusive, so yeah, it tells you anything. Yeah, hey, hey, no, hey, like hey, I, I'm, I'm still hey, waiting on them to just be like, all right, here's the, the here's the good exclusives. You know what I mean? Like the stuff that that they haven't shown off yet. But SDC season, like what, two weeks? Dude, I, yeah. I'd rather have like stuff that's kind of like, eh, you know, like it, it's not that important to pick up, Same and here. then like your awesome stuff, like it's regular, you yeah. know, where everyone can pick it up. I don't. I like being an elitist. Um, <laughs> I think I think people just get this for the melt stick. <laughs> yeah, you got the 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 what is it? The Hulk too, which is exclusive as well. Oh, uh, the Hulk. Yeah, and that Toy Biz style packaging. Uh, here's a two pack here that. with. Uh, See, that's cool. You got your yeah. Iron Spider, so he's actually got the little limbs. Yeah. Uh, this Man. is going to be, at, you know, two years after the movie came out, or a year. They don't want to, They don't want any spoilers. And, <laughs> yeah. and now, you so, know, so now that iron people, spider that you already bought, you can throw that away because now you actually have a little. Uh, yep. This gives me hope, though, that we'll get uh, Fat King Thor and a uh, sparkly hand Iron Man. Yeah. Like at some point, like even yeah. even if it's not this year, we'll get it at some point to go with the hammer cap. <laughs> the that was all I want. Or and the then, big three. Oh well, That's then it. I've got a, a present for you a little bit later. Another tab. Uh, here's a Marvel Legends. They're gonna have a Punisher style War Machine wearable helmet. It's gonna be about like a hundred bucks. You get this yep. code. You like Punisher. I do. I mean, say, I just, I I'm like I, I do say he is a mighty fine man, but uh, I'm not a big helmet wearer. You see, you see this <laughs> hair. I ain't ruining this hair, dude. Get that hair coming out of the back. Dude, it'll get tangled like, up. Like, <laughs> dude, Rick, I just, I just imagine Rick drawing me with various helmets on motorcycles with my hair coming <laughs> no, out the back. He, he just <laughs> wore the mask on it like Casey Jones. Is that, is that something you need to? Do we need to talk about this, Rick? You need some side profile shots. <laughs> no, I was, I was for your doodling. I was going to tell you though the uh, the Green Ranger helmet. I've got a huge head, and it fits on me. It's not comfortable, but it fits. <laughs> when, when we were driving, when we were driving to Arkansas, I swear Dakota still denies it, but I swear to God he farted. It wasn't and a stink. I started to roll down the window, and he could. He was like, "I was on the phone." First of all, I was on the phone. First of all, (laughs) like let's let's get like he knew, and he was he was like, "What have you? You lost your damn mind?" (laughs) (laughs) He goes, "My hair, man. You know how long it takes me to get my hair." I'm like, "Oh my god, dude, I'm riding." The thing is, it's it. No, no, no. If it gets tangled up, I'm tender headed. It hurts to brush. (laughs) That's the color, dude. You should have it in the bud. 
I looked in the bathroom. I'm not, dude. I'm not going <laughs> to put it. Oh, yeah. Some of that, get one of those foghorn leghorn buns going. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I told him awesome. in the hotel, I was like, uh, you remember that that uh, story about Samson in the Bible? He said, I said, yeah. I, I want to cut all your hair off, take all your Beast War powers away. <laughs> 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 Don't you dare! Uh, here's a uh, Walgreens exclusive. You guys into those? Uh, uh, yeah. What is it? Power Rangers. Hey, Mike, you might have to. You might have to keep on the lookout for this one for me. All right. Walgreens didn't get it's, oh, it's so that I find. How many fingers does it come with? How many fingers does it come with? The nine fingers or ten fingers? <laughs> All ten. What? To, what? Like, well, oh, yeah, yeah, they had nine fingers. I think I know where he's going at with this. Come on, my t- yeah, the the actor he only had nine fingers. Really? Oh, yeah. I, didn't know that. I didn't know that. You didn't, no, I didn't yeah. know that. No. Dude, you look at him, dude. dude that's that's, 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 a, that's a Dalton note if I've ever heard it, Josh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How did you wow. know that? Did you? I don't know. Somebody had told me one time, and I was like, "Well, that's interesting because I never knew that." But I don't really care about Power Rangers either, so I was like, that, "That's interesting." Yeah, I've, I've known about it for a few I years. feel like we only cover NECA just to, like, dump all over them. <laughs> uh, well, there's a couple things in here that I'm um, – well, we've, we've Bob got- Ross? Is it Bob Ross? It's got to be Bob Ross. I hope it's Bob Ross. Uh, well, this is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, but you know that they're going to have probably Splinter with a foot soldier and a foot soldier with uh, Shredder. Uh, let's see. Or no, these are movie ones. So these will be individually packaged at GameStop. Jesus, slow down with that mouse. When, God, when is that? <laughs> it just Somebody... flat all over everywhere like a gnat. Dude, it's, it's like it's like his, his mouse just railed a line and like just started going. <laughs> hey, somebody let me know when the uh, when these go up because I want the um shredder to go with my turtles. Oh uh, yeah, I want them all. There you go. Let, let me know when the, when the pre-order goes up. Four of these. Josh's mouse is like a puppy dog who's like super excited that tail just wagging all over the place. <laughs> all right. And then uh Aww. with these, I believe we're looking at New York Comic Con four pack exclusive here. But these also the tune ones, they're gonna be two packed and be at Target. Uh which my target never even got the wave one in. So yeah, mine, actually, never, uh, mine never had those either. Actually, it's funny. I actually saw the two packs the other day at a Target in North Florida Rock. Well, I, I've got all the ones that I needed from the Wave 1, so I didn't really care that much about it, but I definitely want to get the Wave 2. So here you got the cartoon slash. Yeah. I like that kind of cell shading that, that it's got going on. That's pretty mm-hmm. neat. Oh, would you like Borderlands? Okay. Uh, they also did a, uh, was it? Video game slash as well. Uh, they had showed off a wall back, uh, but this is the, uh, the cartoon slash. Mm-hmm. I take it he is not a uh, member of the Turtles, like the core. <laughs> I, I take it he's he's not like even a good guy. Probably not. That's uh, their uh, hillbilly cousin. That's their step cousin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I do. I do. I do. I do that's, say that's that's the Arkansas. Uh, the I'll go for it. <laughs> <laughs> My, toes. You know, we going to the crab. <laughs> Here's <laughs> 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 oh, the, the Louisiana. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey there, Shell. <laughs> Draw me by the swamp. Dakota's like, I'm picking them up to go right <laughs> next to my gambit. Where, where, fancy, my boat at? where my swamp boat at? You fancy, you, fancy, you fancy a bowl of gumbo, maybe a game of cards? Do some strip poker, Shell. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that, that'll be cool to get the leatherhead, too. You need, you need that little hat. He's got him. Exactly. <laughs> hey, dude, I'm just, I'm not a hat wearer. Stop trying to put hats on me, Rick. <laughs> He's trying to dress you up like one of his. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to send Rick a headshot and just like let him put whatever like digitally like headwear he wants over my head. Like, I feel like, I feel like that's going to be very, uh, like a calming thing. That's going to be like, like that's going to be like your Gundam kits, Rick. 
Like, little, <laughs> just photoshopping different headwear on me. My little Louisiana paper doll. <laughs> Here's the thing: uh, is they do have nice paint and they have nice sculpts. Oh, he's got his. These things are fish. really breakable. The NECA figures. Like, uh, it's cool. NECA, of course they are. You would think they would fix that, but they're okay with it, so they just keep on coming. And here's your uh, shredder. That's uh, neat. The your, uh, bit this, this one, yeah, this is the video game uh, shredder. Oh, okay. Uh, someone uh, mentioned earlier they're like, "That's nice." Will we ever get a super shredder? And then, or if someone says, "Oh, it's super shredder." And then one day, Neca was like, "This is just regular shredder," and showed a picture of super shredder. And then, like a few days later, someone was like. Uh, this is cool, but I really like a Super Shredder. And then they were like, we showed off Super Shredder a few days ago. I'm like, now I'm really confused. But this this doesn't look like a Super Shredder to me. Oh, they're calling this the Super Shredder? Well, it, at one point, one day earlier in the week, Naked said that this wasn't a Super Shredder. And then later on, said someone asked, well, this is cool, but I'd like a Super Shredder. And they were like, yeah, we showed it off a couple of days ago. And I'm like, that one that you said that wasn't Super Shredder, so now I'm confused. But right. I'm getting it regardless. But this would be the you know the video game one, and I I think the only way to get this so this one might be the New York uh, Comic Con uh, exclusive because that's how they've been doing the video game ones. It's four packs. I believe sweet lightsaber. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, and your movie stuff is GameStop, and then your cartoon stuff is uh, Target. So we probably won't get uh, the chain and the little box and the extra little uh, weapons, though. That'll probably just be included in the San Diego Comic Con exclusive pack. Oh, the foot soldiers do look good. I might have to get the foot soldiers and Shredder. You don't want Splinter Man? I don't know. I, maybe I don't know. I like I like the other turtle. The movie turtles were just off the charts. And uh, they they're finally doing these, and they made them San Diego Comic Con exclusive. So the Superman and the, the alien here uh, missed out on those. I do like the Superman. His eye laser face when you run out of toilet paper at the corral. <laughs> <laughs> you just have yeah. next to you. Hey, give me a patch. And there are other two packs in Eagle Comic Con exclusive was this armored Batman with a Predator. Like, I, I want, I'd like that Superman and this Batman. I don't care about the Predator and Alien. So I wonder if I might be able to buy those. Man, they'll probably be expensive on individually on their own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like the Superman and the Batman are the things that are meant to sell the sets because it doesn't look like the Alien or the Predator are any kind of special. Mm -hmm. It's the same stuff they've been selling you since Wave One. Yeah, like they they throw an extra armor piece on them or something, and they're like, "Oh, this is like this different Predator now," or a slightly different shade of. Uh paint wash yeah uh and one other thing uh because i remembered i and i brought this up i think on a later show that there was a regular batman and kind of a joker uh painted uh alien well then that's going to be at new york comic-con exclusive and so there's a look at him which well, again i like the batman i don't mm -hmm. care about the joker alien joker alien seems kind of fitting though but, I mean, realistically, it's NECA. It's going to explode as soon as you pose it. Yeah, it's a feature. <laughs> <laughs> Not worth it. <laughs> all right. Here's uh, NECA as well, because they like to do all these like these weird movies. Chip Water. Or your uh, Hellboy, I guess. <clears throat> I never did see that movie. Yeah, it looks like Ape Sleeping. I haven't peeped it yet either. That's that's one I meant to go see, but it's oh, like the, well, the new Hellboy. Yeah, I I, I I saw it this this week. It's not very good. 
<laughs> is it is it on our website, yeah. Josh? Yeah, I've heard okay. a lot of people say that. I've heard a lot of people say it was good, though. Like people that were okay. genuine fans of the of the franchise. You know, I heard they liked it. So I, I don't know, man. I'll that's one I'll check out. Uh, do you know, Josh? Do you know if Dark Phoenix is on our uh, our thing? Too? Please, nope. <laughs> it's not. No, because I was looking for that and uh, John Wick. Something. Yeah, they usually get stuff kind of late too, and, though. And Godzilla, because I I, yeah. I, I, I want to watch it in HD like it's from DVD. So right. Just a, a weird looking dude here. So. You know, for someone who didn't want me buying that two pack from China, you sure do like the Chinese stuff. <laughs> this, this is Chinese. No, I meant like the stolen movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so McFarlane, here's some uh, new Fortnite figures. So uh, just tell us which ones you're getting, Dalton. <laughs> Dalton, that one looks cool. Don't you even try to say it doesn't. It's just you got not- chicken legs and everything. Chicken legs. I'm looking at the legs yeah, ch- chicken like, legs on a werewolf. That's I'm, yeah. I'm looking at the the legs because I'm like, okay, those legs are like from the waist down. That could be man bat, you know. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. The way they're designed, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, probably different feet, but uh... McFarland really isn't in the game of parts reuse, though. To, for what it's worth. Well, I'm, I'm not saying a, a definite parts for use. I'm just saying the, the design, the way that the leg kind of, it would probably need to come up a little bit more than it comes back. Hey, you know, that because that's how the animated figure is, and that sucker's always falling down all over the place. The werewolves in Underworld kind of look like that, too. There's Firefly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there, yeah. there you go. Six-inch Joes. <laughs> look, look, at, look at that, Mike. As close as we're going to get to it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't even have to put any money up, man. It's crazy. Look, he's, he comes with a gun, a backpack, and some, some kind of big axe thing or something. It's a, that's a hoe, isn't it? No, no it's a pickaxe. Oh, <laughs> this guy's got a tire iron. Hmm. Storm Shadow? I know. Yeah, there's your, like, yeah, there's your storm shadow, man. There we go. Yeah. Take his helmet off. It's just just, just put him on a motorcycle and Rick will buy him. Just just <laughs> take that. He, that this, weird, guy would uh, look, this guy would look good on a motorcycle, though, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Rick's over there salivating, just thinking of him on a motorcycle. <laughs> the gears are working there. Yeah. I mean, you just got to take that weird looking tire iron away from him, though. No, yeah, have, have him wielding it while he's driving, just yeah. knocking heads. Mm hmm. All right, what's good, Joe? Is this here? This one's weird looking. It looks like uh, a Borderlands character. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. like an alley viper that's been mutated, maybe. Uh, one of your zombie vipers. Sharp. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Dakota. What? 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 What is this though? What is this? The uh, the dreadnought? Well, uh... I don't know. <laughs> it's like a circus clown. I don't know. <laughs> This is, this is <laughs> a, after right 90. Now. This is like 92 G.I. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you can just put some black stripes on it, man. Then you got your little little tiger force, uh, little four wheeler there. Turn the front <laughs> into a little, little cat head. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. It, it might have me tempted on that dire wolf thing. Uh, McFarlane, they're also doing Doom and Seven Inch. This, right. I. This one I might be tempted to get. Really, I didn't realize anyone still played Doom. Oh, the, I, uh, the re- I just the came remake? across the uh, I just came across the the Doom soundtrack for the remake, and uh, I've been listening to BFG Division for like the last five days, and I've just been playing it at work nonstop. So when people come in, I want them to feel like they're literally in my hell. And uh, <laughs> the the remake <laughs> is awesome. Like, I'm really looking forward to Eternal. I'll, I wouldn't mind a Doom guy uh, in three and three quarter inch scale. This is gonna be seven inch for you, buddy. Yeah, that's double. Well, that's too much. It might it might be four inches for your shelf because he's a big dude. That's fine. I could take that's, all four. This is your uh, Tomashi Nations 
Captain Phasma. Prior uh, going into the dumpster. <laughs> yeah. You sure this isn't after the trash compactor? Yeah. Well, no, she'd, she'd, have to, she'd have to make some she, new armor. She's not all yeah. dirty and stuff now. So. Sweet musket. I don't know. This one just there's looks- your, there's your, there's your Kylo Ren, Josh. <laughs> that yeah. stormtrooper just looks so derpy. It, look, it looks like his face is like falling it's about to sad. fall out. He's kind of sad clown, like a prison sad clown <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> Derp trooper. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. So a uh, couple San Diego Comic Con exclusives for Diamond Select toys. You get your slimed Ghostbusters here. Yeah. These six inch or three and three quarter. No, they're, they're six inch. I think. Well, they're if they're like, diamond, they're, they're if they're seven inch. If they're diamond, yeah, they're going to yeah, be close seven. to seven. Yeah, that's so stupid. Comes in a four pack. There is a dumb skin. The other action figures for you. Okay, here's your other one, exclusive. Where a little bit of battle damage on your gypsy Avenger. Oh, to Jesus! Close. Isn't that movie like two years old now? <laughs> yeah. This is up. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, last yeah, year, didn't it? One. Yeah. No, it's been a couple of years. And and here here you go, Mike. Swedish chef. Yeah. Bork, 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 there you go. There you go. So those are your action figures, uh, exclusives there. All right, for Mayfex, we got the Hush Batman. To what? Hush. The Batman. yeah, I'm sorry. What's the Hush Batman? Uh, Hush. Okay. No, it's red. You guys read Hush, right? Come on. Nope. nope. What? I don't. Jim yeah. Lee. Jim Lee. Big Jim Lee I, fans. I, mean, Rex, man. I Come just. On. I never checked out. Uh, like I was never a big DC reader. Like the only like my Batman knowledge goes as far as the animated series and like a handful of the movies. Well, this this animated movie is coming out soon. So you're oh, okay. Luck. Well, yeah. I'll check it out. Yeah, because I, I do. I'll, I will. I watch the animated movies. I just, I don't have the the time or the the the, the resources to allocate towards buying a bunch H- of Batman books. Hush was is is really good. The art is amazing. Story is good. Sweet. It's a nice looking figure too. Probably won't break like the next one either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also, Mayfix. He's he's not fat though. But I'm sorry. Mayfix is a six inch though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I need a like. That's the thing, man. I feel like this would look too good with the Marvel Legends stuff. So it's like, even if they did Hammer Cap and Fat Thor and Stonehand uh, Tony, like I don't know, man. Well, then got that hand. Hulk. This one might look good with the uh, with the legends. This one might. I, that's the thing. I think it looks too good compared sure. to them, though. Look, you can take the, it. the one that exists is really bad. It's probably the worst of the legends. The paint job. You could fix it with paint. I will say it's fixable with paint. I just haven't done it. But the paint yeah. job on the one that exists is the worst one of the bunch. I love yeah. you, you can get them. You can get them naked too if you want to. I think that's <laughs> that's that's <laughs> awesome. Um. <laughs> Yeah, man, like, I just, uh, you know, I don't know. Like I said, I think comparing, like, even comparing it to the cap, and this cap's a gorgeous cap, by the way. I'm, yeah, I'm sitting cap, here yeah, looking yeah. at it. It's a, good it's, it's, a, it's a great looking figure, but I just don't, uh, yeah, I, I just think it, I think that Thor would look way too out of place. Even if they did, like, the, the fat Thor, I think he would just look way too good <laughs> next to next to the cap. What about the Michael, this is also awesome, Mayfix, what about Michael Jordan? Uh, like Mike? With, uh. Your Captain America, and I just uh, like I don't know how I feel. Like, do do his shorts come off? I mean, he's he's rocking the uh, the eleven. I believe for you, you, yes, uh, the elevens, the Condors. These are the most popular uh, Jordan shoe, I believe. I think it's the eleven. So Condors. I like the fours personally the best, but the elevens look good. Does he does he does he come with a crying face? I was the uh, greatest. Dude, that was during his acceptance speech. Whenever he, <laughs> yeah. he was sitting there crying because he was just like talking about how just, much better he was than everyone else. <laughs> I just remember all the memes that we saw dude, on Sports Center. 
that Dude, that's gun. uh that's that's like crying like it. that was michael jordan that's the mic that's the mic i look up to you know what I mean? Like, I want to be sitting there giving a speech one day about how I'm better than everyone, <laughs> and, <it> just, <laughs> and just and just crying because of my self pride, just knowing that I'm just better than everyone. <laughs> I can't help if I'm better than all of you. What? The, oh, dude, how did they? Why did they do this? Like, so the basketball, so they're trying to make it all like, hey, this is him, like back in the day, because they're he's rocking the Condor uh, shoes and the number twenty three Bulls jersey. But then here on the basketball, where you have the commissioner's name, you have Adam Silver, which he wasn't the commissioner back then. Josh, get off of that nerds, that sports nerd stuff. He, he's no the commissioner now. What I'm saying is he's the commissioner now. He wasn't the commissioner back when MJ played. It's not accurate. Dakota, you know, you should pick up that Jordan because if you get a Foghorn Leghorn, you got a Space Jam situation right there. <laughs> <laughs> we got a game going on here, dude. I would, I would be in. I would be in for some small Space Jam toys again. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Like scale, the scale matters. I would find a place on my three and three quarter inch bookcase for some for some Space Jam toys. <laughs> Uh, here's your uh, Mescos. Uh, they're one twelve. Uh, so this is the Mesco exclusive Moon Knight. For a for a nobody character, Moon Knight sure does look pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's, got, it's got a little bit of love here lately. Those Marvel Legends, yeah. Not too much. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, for a nobody, it looks really awesome. Hey, he talks to the moon. That's cool. So You're pretty cool, sport. Oh, well, thank, thank you. Chains right here. Why somebody think so? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what do we have here. This is your, this is your oh. BBTS exclusive. Uh, so where Cyrax he gets little effect pieces. So there's that. I'm glad to see they're finally moving from one ninja from the ninjas to the cyber ninjas, so they can just repaint the Dickens out of those. <laughs> so 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 was the Inspector Gadget now? Yeah, this went. This is after my time. I only know like the first. <laughs> you you never characters. played. You never played MK three. No, uh, I played the first one and the second one for sure. Uh, I, play, okay. I played nine. Don't get nine. out of here. Nine. <laughs> Dude, what number are they up to? Jesus. Jesus, they're on eleven now. Jeez. Damn, Dalton. Dalton. Oh, I don't know okay, so here's your Storm Fight Wolf uh, STC exclusives for Street Fighter. Uh, Mm, they just my girl Cammy. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Man. Big We're thighs talking. save lives. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 That's my new motto. Yeah. And then oh, I used to like his hair. So Josh, when are you gonna grow that flat top out? <laughs> <laughs> be awesome. I, I had a I had a flat top for a little while when I was a kid. Bison, okay. It's all their, their random colors. Player Saget. two skins. Dagger. Saget. Bob and Saget. Also, Storm Collectibles. You're going to get your. I believe, is it uh, Gears of War? Is that, yeah, Gears. Okay. When does that come out? I don't remember, Kate. Like, all I, all I remember is the, the Carmine Brothers and uh marcus and dom and cole C can't forget augustus cole the cole train baby yeah. baird there was baird i remember baird but that's it that's all i need I to dust off my xbox shortly for for part five i don't think i played four man oh four is good. i liked four yeah i played oh like i'm five. i've gotten to where now like games that i'm mildly interested in I'll watch all the cutscenes on YouTube. That <laughs> saves oh, me uh, eight, not, not only does it save me eighteen hours, but it also saves me sixty bucks. Like uh, that's wrong. I'm 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 liking that that aspect of uh, video game playing now. You're cheating, uh, man. That's yeah. cheating. Yeah. Here's uh, a stage for your arts. Your stealth suit. Oh man, just needs a big white spider on his chest. I haven't seen it yet. So no one say anything. Go in the morning. Either, uh, so. at nine nine yeah, nine forty five. Yeah, no spoilers. Nine forty-five. After that, spoil away. No, I'm not seeing it. Not not like the not like the Stranger Things season three chat spoils, oh, yeah. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Rick and I were the only ones that watched. No, nope, I even no, I, I watched it. We would have watched it. 
I did say spoiler alert, but it was too late. No, no, no. Like that's that's the thing. That's the thing. I saw Josh was like talking. Like as soon as I saw him talking about it, I was like, I know this freaking jerk is not gonna <laughs> like think of anyone else. So like I didn't I didn't read too much of it. I just oh, like good. remember Rick. Like I just saw Rick just say spoiler alert, and I was like, yeah, it's. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna commit, finish up season two tonight, and just burn through season three. I'll, I've been sleeping. I'll, I've been I'll sleeping hit you guys all day. The DMs. So. I'll catch up on the DMs in a few days. I've been I've been sleeping. I've been sleeping all day. So like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna watch all of Stranger Things I haven't seen until I I got you know until I go watch Spider Man uh, Far From Home in the morning. So man, okay, I need to go and see that here soon. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Uh, so, it was a what, lot of what, fun. That's what about your girl here, man? She's Dude. also SH figure arts. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big fan did, of Scarlet Witch. Hey, did you ever go uh, watch that movie I told you to watch for? Uh, no, which show no, off you the never talent. Told, you never yes. told me which movie it was. What was it called? Man, talk, old boy. Good... Old boy. No man, I could never find it. All I could find was the Japanese one. Well, it's uh, that's Korean, but um, oh, dude, don't be you're, that guy. You're, you're racist. <laughs> <It's> Korean. <laughs> uh, Actually, and, uh, it ha- it also has uh, Josh Brolin in it, or whatever his name is. All right, no, I still haven't. And, and you're sure it's it's this Olsen? It's not one of the other Olsens? No, it is this one. I, okay. I guarantee you. Right, I was like, uh, before before it was before uh, she yeah, appeared in this movie, and I was like, "Man, I didn't know they looked that nice." So. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like I always, I always suspected. You know what I mean? Like she just, yeah. So yeah, she's uh, awesome. She's a wife. Her with the angry eyes. Total wife. Uh, more SH figure arts. Here's your cowboy b ball. Never, never seen it. Don't I don't know who this wow, is. That's, so. that's actually, dude. Like, like that's actually, you're, you're missing. You're missing out on some Cowboy yeah, Bebop, dude. You have to see that. Um, I, I need to finish watching it. I'm only like five episodes in. Oh I my started god! Like don't, a year ago, it just gets don't, better and better. You, you need to leave. Um, no, I, yeah, I played I'm Mortal Kombat. So man, I played Mortal Kombat two. Oh man, you need to get all three. I played Mortal Kombat nine. Yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus. <laughs> I, I was never really interested that much in Mortal Kombat. So. Dude, I, dude, I always I know that's that. I, what I will say is nine, ten, and eleven having an actual story mode is like w- is, it's definitely better than the Mortal Kombat's like we grew up on, which was just like the tower. The tower was our story mode, and that was <laughs> yeah, it. you know. But, oh, uh, look at look at these beauties, man. Okay, by Star Ace. By the way, these are. One that 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 um that one scale that every collector is like that's the scale that I love. Quarter one inch? eight, one Quarter eight. eighth. Oh yeah, not <laughs> one six, not six inch, one eighth. So not one oh six, one eighteenth, or one twelfth, but one eighth. One eighth. Jeez. The the covetous one eighth scale, and this is the two point oh, uh, because I guess maybe the first one didn't look good, but uh, as you can see, once we take the mask off. Uh, the 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 accuracy to where they captured the face sculpts or the faces of these actors, it's <laughs> like it should put Hot Toys out of business pretty much. <laughs> there you go. Oh, There's god. obviously Steven. Oh my Mal. god! I don't know why I'm even telling you what the the character's uh, name is, dude. He looks like he's a rendered PlayStation Two character. <laughs> it's perfect. Jeez, what are they doing? Uh, oh, actually, I'm glad they could. And they, they had uh, the, the Harry Potter license. I felt like they, they've done pretty good with that one. They look, they look pretty good. This is I awful guess, looking. I guess the new, this is, this the is like game cu- GameCube Arrow. <laughs> hey, but any Flash fans? Because uh, this is 2.0 with the Flash because uh, they've made some improvements. and That Flash looks pretty bad, too. Man. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so bad. Yeah. He, lo- he looks like he's in a, like, like a little kid in like a onesie. Pajamas. With with a diaper, it's, it's like the the Halloween store stand up. <laughs> Careful, <laughs> let's, let's get Careful, to Dalton. We got it. We got at least three guys in here that are only a few years away from diapers themselves. <laughs> oh, there you go. Here. Just like them. Just like them. Oh, oh my god! Who is that? That's Sweet that, PlayStation uh, Two that guy. guy. That's a horrible. Game. I mean, I. 
I bet they're glad really they paid. I'm really glad. Really I, bet, bad. I bet they they're glad they paid for the likeness of these characters. Otherwise, well, they so, wouldn't be able to give you quality like this. Well, see, so, so they got one. They got one Twilight actor for Batman. Now they got one for Flash too. God, dude, that's that was the worst one I've seen lately. Uh, is is oh. uh, Jacob? Uh, yeah, that's what it looked like. Hey, this is three zero. <laughs> this is one six scale from now on. Uh, this is something for Dakota. Uh, there's because I, kn- I know you like uh, Brand. Uh, dude, Game Brand, of Brand was uh, Brand was the MVP uh, for this this past season. He just like he was just looking at every just mean mugging everybody from his wheelchair. <laughs> and then and then spoiler alert, he's just like. Becomes the king. Okay. Just hey. Brand the broken. Brand the disfigured. Yeah, just Brand would be all right. Brand the broken. All hail Brand the broken. His wee wee doesn't work. He can't follow the children. Brand the broken. <laughs> hey, here, here, here. Uh, okay, Dakota. <laughs> this wrong. Your your Brand here, and uh, this is me, John uh, Snow here. I'm like, uh, hey, you practice incest. Hey, hey, pro- <laughs> hey, promise <Yeah>. Sabbath. <laughs> I have something to tell you. What what is it, Hex? Tell me, tell me in my ear. G one is better than Beast Wars. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you go back to that, uh, Hex, I got something to tell you. Lean close. You're doing it with your aunt. <laughs> Well, at least he can stand. <laughs> well, well, wait, what? What if he's like that Marvel Legends oh, uh, dude, Professor, Professor Xavier, X, where he just has the the, the dangly uh, legs. legs? Oh man, that's just raw. Uh, you know what I like about this is that you can just like kick him out uh, or resell him, but keep this stuff, and you can put your masterpiece cup in here, and then finally lay that little fur blanket <laughs> over his legs. <laughs> I do like my blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is exactly <laughs> like we said we were doing for Cup here. Yeah. Need a little can of beanie weenies and a spoon, little crackers. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> he's he's got some Vienna sausages, and then there's like Did a Yahtzee board. Did you just call him <laughs> Just a little can of that potted Vienna. Some crackers. It's Vienna. <laughs> how, how am I supposed to know, man? I don't eat them. Oh, I, I've heard I, some I, people say Vienna. I was I was gonna say I know Josh you can't pronounce make toys so Vienna Vienna sausage uh, here's a uh, hot toys as well uh, it says it's 2019 Toy Fair exclusive but am I not mistaken <laughs> that Toy Fair is already gone is uh, is Toy Fair like even supposed to have exclusives like I thought they just show stuff off there <laughs> yeah I, I, this has got to be a San Diego Comic Con let's go ahead at exclusive at Toy Fair. Like just for people to buy? That's nonsense. No, no, no because uh, Toy Fair is just like showing stuff off. Yeah, like, Toy Fair even... should be like nothing but like prototypes usually. Yeah, like, it's prototypes just... and like pre, you know, pre-release. That's that's all Toy Fair. Yeah, isn't that movie like ten years old though? That's it what... already had this figure. This already had this. Well, apparently there's a new version. I think they made a new version. Probably. I guess they feel like yeah. they can sell it. Jesus. I mean, I want to see the line of people line up to get this. I mean, oh yeah, we're probably getting the <laughs> two face from Batman. That's ten years old. Yeah. <laughs> the wait was worth it. And on top of that, I bought tickets point? to the wrong convention because <laughs> they mislabeled it. And it's not just on this one; like on the next couple things, man. Like they they're mislabeled too. So it's got to be San Diego Comic Con or New York. I, I always, or, I never or, looked deep into it. I always just because they do this every year. I assumed it's something in the Asian market. That's probably I, I just always assumed. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, they do it like every Tokyo year. Toy Fair or something. There you something, go. You want a yeah, Stanley something over there from oh, Guardians? Yeah. Weren't we supposed to be getting a Marvel Legends uh, build a figure Stanley? Yeah, they backed out I of think it so. for whatever reason. Oh man, that's a bummer. I, w- I like that. I wouldn't mind like just that a awesome. six inch Marvel Legends Stanley. Yeah. I think that'd be pretty cool. But mm-hmm. uh, you yeah. got a Standor from Masters of the yeah. Universe. Yeah, I have that. Yeah, He's that's cool. pretty neat. Excelsior. Tony Stark. Uh, to go. Do what? Or uh, should I say Dalton? You getting this? No, <laughs> he's getting two. You 
Damn it, dog, dude. Dog, I've, down, I've, the never one, bought, I've never Dalton, bought Hot Toys. Why would I start Dalton, now? The, the second one you get, you get that so he can sign it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Pit late for that. Uh, here mean? you go. Here you go, uh, Dakota and Rick. So little, Wrong scale. <laughs> he's going to get the... Uh, well, for Rick, it's probably not. Bedazzled glove now. I just need that in Marvel Jeez. Legends, but I want it to come with the helmet. Uh, as well. Is this just an update to the existing? It, it, yeah, it's just, it's just the update. This is the That's cool. Mark. God, what the hell is that? 50. Yeah, the newest, the 85 or whatever. It's it is. 85. Yeah, 85. 85 now? Jeez. That's wow. the one that was in, the, you know, the newest movie. Yeah. Yeah, so they're just now showing off, I guess, where they were like, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I think it was blurred before. That makes sense. So yeah. they're like, you, we're, you're going to get this uh, little bedazzled glove. So That's cool. That's cool. Oh, come on, Marvel Legends. Don't let me down. I just want to show you how cool it actually is. <laughs> that's $20. That's, that's $20. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah, it's $20. Uh, and then here's your upgraded suit, Spider Man. What's that pot at? That pot's got to be at like at least three grand right now. We could all get <laughs> uh, some hot toys, bedazzled Iron Men's. Why, why are they hiding his face? We know what he looks like. It's probably un, it's probably a sculpt that's not, they're not quite finished with it. They've done that uh, before. I'm like, we know what Tom Holland looks like. I don't know whether it's, it's not <laughs> hey, it looks like a flying squirrel. Right, so some cool netting. What happened That's to the right. blue? Is that black? It's yeah, it looks like a different suit. Black. It's I've I've seen this suit in the trailer. Um, but yeah, I like, the, I, don't I, know. I like red and blue, man. I know, Me man. Too. That's uh, maybe maybe <laughs> this is supposed to be like uh, his his kind of UK colors. Maybe that was the red and blue were just <laughs> too American. So no, no, no. The uh, uh, I, I, I don't I don't get it. They always they keep on getting darker and darker with their outfits. Like the Captain America, man, I could barely even see his thing. It was like he's just wearing a black outfit. So he could barely <laughs> see his thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Did, Josh, Josh you and you see, are real uh, this this week. <laughs> maybe maybe the Cap Scarlet Spider go up. Any of you guys see the Scarlet Spider went up? Like maybe it was about three or four weeks ago. And yeah, I'm never on the internet. internet. Like, I always complain. Like, I'm always sitting in a meeting and I miss everything. Oh, and for you. some reason, I happen to be looking at my phone when the Scarlet Spider went up. And um, I think it sold out in less than a day. Wow. And I've had, like, three – I've had three people reach out to me that know that I've got my pre-order in for somehow some miracle. And all of them are, are asking me um, – they want to pay me, like, 600 bucks for it. And I'm like, I haven't even got – it won't – I don't Dang. even know what I'm getting it. It's – evidently, it sold out, like, in a few hours. And, I, you know, I kept thinking wow. maybe they're going to put it's, some more up. Is SciShow, like, selling way. your information or something? Like, how do they all find out? Uh, just people, people that I talk to on the one six scale stuff because not they many watch people collect. Yeah, that's it. <coughs> hot toys is an avid uh, watcher of the show since Rick's background is nothing but hot toys. No, I got a few people I talk to that are just one six scale. Okay, we, we've heard a lot about you from Funko too. So and you get Funko, you get all this. I was talking about Mike. So. Oh, and you oh, got an additional yeah. accessory coming soon. So there you, there you go. Oh, man. I got to see this movie. <clears throat> I don't yeah. know if I'm going to get that one. I hate not being in the know. All right. So uh, just hit uh, over two hours. What? I didn't wow. Know. He, he broke up. So that was fragmented. Uh, but let, let's go ahead and sign out since we've been doing this for two hours already. So, uh, Dakota, you can kick off and then Dalton. Then we'll yeah, you can find me everywhere at Primal Sabbath. I'm the best. Number one, America. Woohoo. I'm Dalton. You can find me everywhere at Daltonian STFs. A little bit more humble than that guy. You just call me a fat guy? Wow. You said that guy. <laughs> wow. I'm a little bit more humble than that fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am thinking, which fat guy is he talking about? <laughs> you have to be more specific. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it could be universal for all of you. So. You can find me everywhere as Angry Mike. You can find me on this Twitter. Way. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram as Shattered Glass Jazz. And you can find me here on YouTube as Sportimus and on Twitter as Sportimus Prime. And you can find me, G1Xron, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page, the G1Xron. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, we'll talk to you in a couple weeks. Peace. Bye-bye. Hey, pig suit.